idea about what I did with my holidays. So I had one, two, three, how many weeks of holiday did I have? Hmm. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. I think I had five. I'm just going to check that. Okay, so technically, uh, eighth week, the last week of term, finished on the 2nd of December. It always finished on a Saturday in Oxford, and Cambridge does the things a little bit differently, but we won't mention them. Obviously, the other place. So I had one, two, three, four, five, six weeks of holiday. Technically, I had six weeks of holiday. Now, for me, I don't count North Week as a week, so I only had five weeks of holiday. And I stayed in Oxford for two of those weeks. So I was at home for three. Because I like home. Essentially, I like home. Uh, so for the first two weeks, I was doing some paid work, Fox University Press, which I can't talk about. But it's exciting. And then I also did some work because I much prefer to work in Oxford. When I'm at home, I get into this kind of relaxation mode and I find it very difficult to work properly. Uh, so I spent those first two weeks in Oxford working, studying, making the most of the libraries and the books while I still had them. And I spent three weeks, three really, really enjoyable weeks, essentially relaxing with my mum and sister back at home in Birmingham, seeing some of school friends, mainly just lying around, sleeping, doing a lot, a lot of sleeping. Uh, don't underestimate the power of sleeping. I binge watched Grey's Anatomy, which I would really recommend. Very chilled series, kind of quite formulaic, if some very disturbing plot lines, um, but very enjoyable as well, and just kind of mindless watching. Most Oxford undergraduates will be here in North Week, which is what is happening right now. Now, why are people here in North Week? Well, apart from the fact that you love Oxford, your accommodation starts in North Week. So you have accommodation from North Week to 8th Week and not in the rest of the vacation, which is a bit of an issue. But there you go. You have to subsidise the accommodation somehow and the way most Oxford colleges do it is by renting out the accommodation when Oxford students aren't there. So what happens in North Week and why are most Oxford students here? Because most undergraduates will have collections. What are collections? Sounds really weird, but they're just mock exams. Um, there are many theories as to why they're called collections. Maybe your knowledge is being collected. Hmm, don't know. But either way, unfortunately, but also fortunately because they're quite useful, most undergraduates have exams uh, either Thursday, Friday or Saturday of this week. And a lot of other undergraduates have coursework. And postgraduates also have coursework, like me. I have two coursework essays due in next Monday, so the Monday of first week. And that's partly why I'm here currently, because I find it much easier to work in Oxford. As a humanities student, I have the libraries and just all of the books. All of the books that I need are right here, which is ideal. Although actually, not all of the books I need are right here, because I've currently had to get out an interlibrary loan, which is quite exciting. So that means that essentially I've asked for a book that is at a library outside of Oxford. Um, and paid £5 to do that, but it's a very useful book. Uh, that was a bit of a tangent, but there you go. So during the vacation, Oxford students are often set work. So obviously you've got the revision for those collections, the mock exams, if you're an undergraduate, but you might want to prepare, in fact it's a really, really good idea, to prepare for the term ahead. So you'll know what topic you're doing, or topics for most people, you're doing and you can ask the tutor for a reading list or hopefully they'll give you a reading list it depends uh, and you can start reading ahead now you can take the books out from the libraries beforehand you're allowed to take up books from most libraries over the vacation and now for some subjects a lot of the books are online which is amazing uh, so revision for mock exams work for topics ahead Oxford students don't just work over the vacation though. Students as well go travelling or do internships, especially Easter and over Easter and summer um, when you tend to have a bit less work or more time to do it in. So 
I hope you all had a very, very, very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. As I am half French, I will say Joyeux Noël, although it's quite, quite late, and Bonne Année, Bonne Santé. Thank <laughs> you.